All right, you all, moving along. This is my pine tree, and it's grown a couple of inches. The leaves continue to be green. The spider plant, the dumb cane plant. This dumb cane plant began with two leaves. Now she sprouts a mini. I did lose the spider plant right here. However, the others are doing well. The dumb king is doing well. I just enjoy playing with my plants. And this stem has more potential. I mean, by the end of the summer, I'm hoping she sprouts out more leaves. And do you know why your leaves tear like this. That is because the top is wanting to open before the bottom. So it creates a tear in your leaves. This leaf, however, opened perfectly. This leaf has no rips. And natural shine. So what we're looking at here is my dumb king plant. And I was looking at this new baby here. Do you see how it's opening without a stem? What I mean is it's opening without a stem. It's just opening in the stem. So I'm interested in knowing what that's going to look like. So the baby did open with a stem or not. Very small stem, but she did open. Oh, excuse me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ragdown Planting. Now, you know how much I love my fountain grass, but it's grown out of control. And every time it rains, it leans forward and covers everyone else. At this time, I have rocks to hold them up. You know, I don't like that. I believe what has happened is I did not plant them deep enough into the soil. So every time it rains, they lean forward and cover everyone. So I want to remove them at this time put them in a better place, a better position, and deeper into the soil. But look at my peekaboos down there. I don't think I've shared them in a while. These are my purple fuzzies. Yes, they've grown a lot. Hiding. Mm-hmm. Lots of babies down in there, but you can't tell because of that fountain grass. But I did that on purpose because I wanted them to cascade over the rock. 
I just didn't realize I didn't plant them deep enough. Mm hmm Look at that grass. It's so pretty. But when it rains, it is not. Let's begin. So she grew huge. Look at the hole. She was a four inch pot when I originally put her into the soil and look how mad. I had to dig and dig to get that baby out of there. So look at the other, like I've got to dig that out of there. I'm just sweeping through and removing all the dead leaves, all the burnt leaves, any ugliness. Making clippings to plants I've damaged, pulling out the um, fountain grass. Look at those um, sunburns is what those are. It's a reflection from the cop, excuse me, from the concrete here. It'd be so hot it burns the leaves. This concrete gets so hot it burns the leaves like that. But the um, Wandering Jew handles it. But these leaves are like, no, that hurts. So before I put my rose bush in the replace of the fountain grass, all of this will get a chance to grow get a lot of sun hopefully these purple fuzzy leaves will get stronger and able to tolerate that sun it might be also because you know it was used to the the grass shielding it so it didn't have to be so strong for that sun so we'll see how it all plays out so I was just tidying things up I can't just pull the grass out and not tidy things up it really look a mess. It already looks a mess with a big hole in the middle. So I clipped all the purple heart down because as you know, the purple heart, it takes over. And um, so I clipped it all back to give, just to give everyone a fresh new look. It'll give the rose bush a chance to kind of bush up a little bit more on this side because it's like going like that because the fountain grass and the purple heart right behind it was kind of pushing it so now it gives that bush a chance to come this way we'll see what happens I did my best not to ruin my roots because I want to relocate the fountain grass and and pot it deeper into the soil.
So this is the last of the fountain grass. I made it into a vase arrangement. I'll show you in a moment, but I had to clip all the um, the fountain grass off because I broke all the top limbs like this. All the top limbs was looking like this. So I just went on ahead and clipped it off, gave it a fresh start, and I made an arrangement out of it. Here's my other arrangement I made out of Purple Hearts, um, Rosie Jane. I put one little grass in there and my little white shingles. They're not doing so good though, the white shingles. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so I made a couple of arrangements. Yes. Well, thank you so much for watching Ragdown Planting. Over and out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. So, this was the last of the fountain grass. It was just leaning and all the pieces at the top had broken over. I was... I did do my best to save the rooting system because, you know, I wanted to continue. I mean, it just brought out a smudge before the end of the summer. What is this? The beginning of June? No, this is the middle of August. So, I don't know. We'll see. So before I go, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to show you my runners. Um, I can't think of the proper word right now, but you're looking at Pothos, Purple Fuzzy, and the Wandering Jew. And it is getting massive on my flower bed here. Massive. That's the Hoya. Underneath the leaves. Wow, I just had to show. Mm -hmm. 